Hey everybody, welcome back to another career tutorial. Today, we are going to go over a very much needed update on the Comics Manager in Krita. I'm going to split this into two videos. First, I'm going to show you how to activate the Docker and the general simple tasks and things you can do with it. And then we'll go into the more advanced things like editing um, the metadata and adding templates and all that fun stuff. So to start with, we're going to go to Settings, Dockers, and Comics Manager. So here is the Comics Manager. It's pretty simple, blank, nothing crazy. Open Project Settings, Add Page, Export, Copy Location. So to show you how this looks, I'm going to go ahead and open a project. And this is something that I have been working on. I don't know if you've been following me for a while on anything, you'll know that um, I have been creating a comic. I'm going to open this JSON file. You can see I have export pages, templates, translations. You can see this is like a whole system already. And what this file that I'm going to be opening is going to do is tell Creator that all of the pages that I have added to this folder needs to be accessed through the uh, Comic Manager Docker. So now that I have opened it up, it didn't take any time at all, and I have a lot of pages in here. And they're very big files. So I have a lot in here. So you can see immediately as I scroll down, I have the file name of the page. And this is my personal naming convention. You can name it whatever you want. If you want to just say page one, two, three, four, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but I put um, the pumpkin prints chapter one, page six for everything after the initial 14 pages. That way I know what chapter I'm in when I'm working, if I have to go refer back to the script. And then the V001 is just so I know which version it is. And you can see down here I have versions, version twos, and that's because I went and redid those pages or added them back in doing a second revision. So another thing we can see here is we can change the thumbnail size. So if you don't need to see any information about this, you just need to see like the file names here and see it in numerical order. And you do see that there's page 14 missing there. It's in 11. That's due to my own fault because I removed pages and I misnumbered them. I just kind of went with it. I can go back and rename these later on. That's no big deal. Anyway, so I can increase the thumbnail size so I can see the thumbnails pretty clearly. And that kind of helps me kind of take a quick look to see what's going on. And if you're not sure if the flow of the story is going well, you can kind of just flip through. You know, it's very easy, very simple. And then here, after the file name, you have a keyword, you have a date, and a timestamp, and you have a description. None of these have any description or any other information about them. We'll go over that in another video. Yes, it's not quite more advanced, but it is a little bit more um, involved. And then that's pretty much it when you open a comic project. Now if you want to create a new one, we can go to the drop down menu and hit new project. I want to put this in, put it in here because I always put stuff in here. I want to put it in the comic test folder. I'm going to hit select folder. So this is a little bright. This isn't something they have ad addressed just yet in Krita. But here is the comic concept. So you can say um, sci-fi project and we'll just put squids, right? Space squids, cool. And then project name. So you can generate something random, which is pretty cool. Or you can type it in yourself. So we'll say sci-fi squid um, brigade. Maybe they're alien squids and they're a group. So we're gonna hit next. So here we can do all those folders that I kind of showed you in the beginning. You have pages directory, and I apologize, this is a little hard to see. So if you want to rename this to something else, you're, you can. So if you wanna say the pages is, um, maybe we can say work in progress or something. You can do export, you can say final, templates, all that good stuff. I'm gonna leave it as it is. And it shows you where that directory is going to go, which is the comic test flow that we chose earlier. We're going to hit finish. 
So immediately we see we're in the sci-fi squid brigade and we've made our project. So now the tricky part is this. Now we have to add a page. So what there's a lot of options to add a page here. I'm only going to go over a very simple method and this is, this is what I've been doing. So I'm going to move this over to my other monitor out of sight and we're just going to scribble some stuff here. Use an actual brush. There we go. I'm using my mouse. That's why there's no sensitivity because I can't. I'm just going to hit file save as and let's say that I have a separate folder where I'm kind of keeping track of the rough draft, but not the final page. So we're going to go to tests, and I'm just going to save it here. I'm going to say page one uh, thumbnail, right? And we've done that, right? And it looks great. We're happy. Bring this back over. I'm going to go to add page and add existing. I'm going to go back to where I saved that page one thumbnail, I'm going to hit open, it's added there. Now as a note, when you go back to add existing, it will move that file automatically for you. So it will no longer be where I just saved it, it's getting moved to the project um, folder that I just made with the comics manager, which is actually really nice. So what I've been doing is making these pages and pages for the thumbnails and the layouts and as I am happy with their final look, I add them into the project to make it easier for me to acknowledge these are done pages and ready for the next step. Okay, I forgot about this other part of the comics manager that you would definitely want to know if you're just going to use a simple way to use this whole project um, organization method. If you close um, the file that you're working in and you're like, okay, I have my um, JSON file open. I want to open one of the pages I saved in here. If you double click on it, it will open that file for you in the background. And this is really helpful because when I'm working on a page, I need to kind of like remember the flow of the last, the last page before that and the page after, I can just quickly open them up. Now, a note about that, the larger the file size, the longer it's going to take to open. And because my comic pages are a little big, it does take like a few seconds to open, but it does open. So just something, uh, another useful part about the comics manager that's very simple, not complicated to use. And that's the basics of getting this set up. We'll go over project settings, adding different types of pages, um, exporting and copying and all that good stuff in the next video. I just wanted to get you started on a very simple, basic way to use the Comics Manager if you just want to do the basics for this. I definitely recommend it. It has been making my life much easier in terms of organization so far, and I'm very grateful for everyone at Krita to for making this. And yeah, <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this introduction video to the Comics Manager. If you have any questions about it that I haven't gone over yet or that you would like me to like maybe address more in depth in the next video for the comics manager let me know in the comments down below and i will do my best to answer them and as always make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video